Hey everyone, and welcome back. This is going to be CC Cycle 2 and Week 18 Memory Work Ideas, a review game idea, and ideas for at home this week. All right, beginning with math, this week we are learning the area of a triangle, and the area of a triangle equals one half the base times the height. And so we're continuing with our tune of 99 bottles, and this week's part of the tune sounds like the area of a triangle equals one half base times height. The area of a triangle equals one half base times height. And that will be how we'll cover it in class. I'm going to do the same thing that I did in the last couple of weeks, bring in our scotch tape and have a triangle on the ground. And then what we'll do is uh, have everybody jump into the triangle representing the area of the triangle. As we sing that, we can do it as a dance party, as we uh, chant the tune, and just make it fun that way. All right, moving on to English. This week, we are learning about five cases of nouns. And so we do this as kind of a back and forth chant. So I will say, I said there's five kinds of nouns. Then the kids will say, I said there's five kinds of nouns. And then I'll point back and forth so the kids know when it's their turn to repeat after me. So, I said there's five kinds of nouns. I said there's five kinds of nouns. Subject, direct object, indirect object. Subject, direct object, indirect object. Object of the preposition, object of the preposition, possessive, possessive. So, I just do this as a back and forth chant. I will try to put in the name if I can find it. Uh, probably from a few years ago when I first learned this tune and the way of uh, reviewing this, I'll put that name in the description so that you can see where that was from. All right, for geography, we are going to be continuing with our same tune, and the tune sounds like this. If you find yourself in Central Europe, you might be in Italy. Austria, Hungary, Czechia, Slovakia, this is Central Europe. So that's just continuing on from last week. And that is the tune that we'll use. Again, I will post in the description uh, a link to the YouTube where that came from. Another CC user that I found on CC Connected as well. All right, for history, tell me about the United Nations. Uh, when I first did this through cycle two, we used hand motions. So I'm gonna present that as an option. If you have the littles and you want something more basic, you could totally just march it out as you listen to and sing the song that CC provides. If you want some hand motions, here are some of the ones that we've done in the past. So in uh, 1945, well, this is nine, four, and five. So in 1945, you could shake it for 19. Uh, after the League of Nations failed, when we say failed, we're gonna do two thumbs down. So failed to prevent World War II. American, when we say that, we'll go like this. American President Roosevelt, British Prime Minister, we do this for British, Churchill, we'll just shake our C for Churchill, uh, and Soviet Premier Stalin, we're gonna do the shape of his mustache, began the United Nations. So when we say United, we're just gonna put our hand together like this, uh, showing the sign for United, the United Nations. All right, that is history. For science, we're learning, moving on to what is Newton's third law of motion. And we're continuing this with the Beverly Hillbilly tune. And it sounds like this. Newton's third law of motion states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Newton's third law of motion. And we are going to be pushing against walls as a demonstration for how Newton's third law of motion works. If we push on the wall, our body doesn't stay in put place, it pushes back. So that is a really simple, easy way to demonstrate and chant through Newton's third law of motion. All right, for Latin, we have our future tense conjugation endings again this week. So I have my bow and we always we have the kids come up Stand in a line, the bow starts with the first person, and then as we sing the tune, it moves down the line so that it's somewhere different in the future. And so uh, as we sing bo bis bit, bemis bitis bunt, by the time we get to the end, the person at the end of the line gets to put the bow on their head. Um, or if I have a bun that day, or 
someone, you could put it on the bun to remind you of bunt as the ending. So that's how we cover our Latin. As I mentioned last week, if you prefer to do something like a bow and arrow, that would work too. And the idea is just to give a some kind of a reminder that the initial sound or that we're making is B-O for our future tense, which is uh, bow. So either of those would work. All right. I think that is everything. Oh, timeline. For timeline this week, we have Cherokee Trail of Tears. So we're going to do the sign for Native American. So Cherokee Trail of Tears. And we have the U.S. Westward Expansion. So we're going to make a W and move it. U.S. Westward Expansion. Marx publishes the Communist Manifesto. Then we have the Compromise of 1850 and the Dred Scott decision. We do our hands like this. And then uh, the next one is U.S. Restores Trade with Japan. So we're going to do the side for trading and then the sign for Japan, which is the shape of the country of Japan. Then we have British, British Queen Victoria's rule. We do our hands like this, representing the reins on a horse. So rule over India. Sorry for the loud banging. If you can hear that in the background, we have lots of construction and different uh, projects going on here in the house. So hopefully you can hear me okay and uh, the bangs are not too loud, but that's what's going on. We got a bathroom being installed upstairs. So um, the last one after that little interruption is Darwin publishes the origin of species. And so for that one, we're going to make a D Darwin publishes. We're going to um, write like we're publishing something and the origin of species. We put our hand like this. This is representing a key starting going into the ignition starting an engine uh, and representing the origin of something. So that is all of our timeline motions. And I hope that that makes sense. If you have any questions, um, you can definitely always look up the ones on CC Connected. The whole video has explanations of that and it's a great resource. All right, I think that is all for our memory work this week. For uh, review, Two options. Since it's week 18, it's always a great idea to do something that covers a lot of territory, something like a bingo uh, where you can cover all of the last six weeks. I will post links to a few different options that are currently posted on CC Connected. The version that I use, you can do any week, any cycle, but for some reason, we're not able to, to get it linked to the new CC Connected. I will check again on that, but there are other versions that are currently there and you're able to use. So I will post those down in the description. Bingo is a great option. You could use little candies as the little chips. You could use little heart cutouts, stickers, uh, dry erase markers, whatever works for you and your group. It's a fun way to review and cover a lot of ground. The other option for this week that I thought would be fun, which we may enter intertwine is since we've already got the triangle kind of outlined on the ground with our scotch tape hopscotch would be a really fun thing to do for review as well just get some kind of hacky sack or marker for each of the kiddos and have each little section in the triangle marked off to represent a different subject so you could just put numbers in there colors, different uh, like construction paper. And then as they hit each mark, they'll review whatever subject they landed on. So just a fun way to review. Hopscotch is always a fun thing, especially if you need to, a little bit of action or motion. If they're feeling like they need to get some energy out, that might be a fun one. All right, for at home ideas this week, for Indescribable, we have page 46, which has relates directly to our hands-on science experiments. My husband is awesome. I love you, honey. <laughs> That's a great running man. Okay. Uh, for our indescribable devotion, we have page 46, which relates directly to our two hands-on science experiments for this week. So page 45, another one that you could do is page 68, which is about when stars die. And then if you want some videos to watch or some things to see online, Magic School Bus has three that relate to our work this week. Uh, first one is revving up. It's about engines and um, that season two, episode eight 
on the normal Magic School Bus. Then we have another one on Magic School Bus, Ups and Downs, Season 2, Episode 13. That has to do with Newton's Third Law of Motion. And then Magic School Bus Rides Again has Season 2, Episode 7, which is called The Good, The Bad, and The Noki. It's about simple machines. And so um, that is quite a few options for things that relate to our memory work in terms of videos that we could watch. Those would all be good options. For food and eating our geography, there were lots of options last week as we're covering the Central European countries. This week, we're just doing more Central European countries. So obviously we could use some of the same things if you haven't done them yet. So bratwurst, uh, salted pretzels, think Switzerland, meringue cookies, meringue treats, um, Wiener schnitzel, chicken cordon bleu. Those are the options that I threw out last week. And um, we're just covering the same, the same areas, just more of them. And so that's, that's what I got for eating our geography this week. Okay, I think that is everything that I have. Uh, be sure and check out the movie list under the Frugal Lancaster link that I have in my description below. Several movie options for World War II um, that might be fitting or of interest for you and your family as uh, we're learning about World War II. And I think there might be a couple other ones on there too, but it's all linked in the description, so check that out. And other than that, that's everything for this week. I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know and I will do my best to help as I can. Uh, this is the wrap up of our third quarter already. This is a lot that we've learned and we only have one more quarter to go. So hope you guys all have a great break. And if you're watching this before Valentine's, happy Valentine's Day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.